Solo Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a non-dollar tree Valentine's Day DIY using one of my favorite things to craft with, and that is fabric. I found this adorable Emma and Myla Fat Quarters stack at Walmart. I want to say that this was $6. I think that there is six Fat Quarters in it, so they were a dollar a piece. And I just love the color variation. The coordinating fabrics went so adorably with each other. And when I saw it, I knew that this was the fabric that I wanted to use for this Valentine's Day DIY that I had in store for Kayla and a couple of other people in my life. This is such a budget-friendly DIY. And out of two fat quarters, you're gonna be able to make several of this DIY. I will warn you ahead of time though, for the most part, this is a no-sew DIY, but there is a bit of sewing involved. It is a very loose stitch that you could either do with just a regular needle and thread, or you can do it with embroidery thread. Really is your choice. It's gonna give it two different looks. Uh, it really is easy. If you really wanted to hot glue this, you probably could get away with that. I think it's gonna make it a bit harder to do. But really doing a loose stitch for this DIY, it's gonna take you maybe a minute, minute and a half of sewing. That is it, so don't be intimidated. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to making a Valentine's Day DIY using some fabric that you can get for a dollar a fat quarter. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. I love this DIY. I love crafting with fabric in general. Just as much as I love crafting with paper, if I'm being honest. Alrighty, so change of plans. We are still going with an Emma and Myla fat quarter stack, but we are using the one that I used for Easter and Valentine's Day last year that so many of you loved. I was at Walmart picking up a couple items for this DIY when I saw that this stack was back in stock, super excited, so I couldn't resist. I picked it up, so this is the one we're gonna be using today. Look at how adorable all these are. It is more along the Easter line, but I am all about the browns and pinks, and browns and pinks work for Valentine's Day too, and so I don't think that enough of the images are gonna show, and there are other fabrics in here that I can use that aren't Easter related that I think are gonna work just fine for this DIY. I'm gonna start off by cutting my fabric, and here I am using my rotary cutter and my larger ruler. You can get away with using a ruler and just regular scissors, but because I have it, why not use it? And I'm gonna start off with this pink fabric, and I am going to cut two squares that measure out at 10 inches by 10 inches. And you will see that once I've cut my first one, I have plenty of fabric left over for another set. Once I've got my two 10 by 10 inch squares, I am going to take some of this Loctite. This is a spray adhesive, repositionable, very lightweight. It's the 100 grade. And on the bad side of one piece of the fabric, I'm gonna spray some of the adhesive. Once I've got it sprayed and it's on there, I'm gonna go ahead and put both sides of my wrong sides of my fabric together, making them even, which is then going to give us a two-sided piece of fabric with the good side of the fabric on each side. Now this next step isn't one that you have to do. It's definitely optional. Later on, I realized I probably could have just gotten away with not doing it because it didn't show, but I did take some peaking shears and ran along the edges just to kind of give it a more decorative look. Dollar Tree's got this chic lace ribbon that I absolutely love. You've probably seen it a time or two in my hair because I do use it as a headband. But in today's DIY, I'm gonna use it to finish off the edges of the 10 by 10 inch square that I've cut out. And to apply it, I'm just gonna use hot glue. Now, if you wanna sew this on, I say go for it. But like I said, I really wanted to do this as a no-sew DIY. And this isn't something that's gonna be washed. And so the hot glue is gonna work just fine and it's gonna hold the ribbon on. 
just as good as sewing it. So why pull out the sewing machine when you can just plug in your hot glue gun? Look at how pretty that lace is. It really finishes it off nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over to the back side, and this is the side where you're gonna see the edges of the peaking shears. I'm gonna take the two corners when I'm holding my square diagonally, and I'm gonna fold them in, and on this point here, right in the center, I'm gonna put just a dot of glue to hold them together. You don't wanna put so much glue that it spills over or it goes through the lace, and the two pieces are actually glued down to the bottom. You want to be able to still kind of have that tunnel, have that opening in between. So when you lift it, it's open, it's not stuck to the bottom. Now we're gonna take the bottom and we're gonna fold it up and you can see where I'm going with this. We are making a fabric envelope. And so again, very lightly, I'm gonna place a strip of hot glue there along the lace and look at how that lace just finishes this off it just looks so pretty it looks so fabric shabby chic i love these colors and so i'm going to do that on both sides closing this up leaving the top open and before that hot glue hardens you just kind of want to stick your hand inside the envelope and make sure that you separate the top from the bottom when looking at this, I realized that I didn't like how the top part of the envelope, the peaking shears part that I cut was showing. I felt like it just looked unfinished. And since I had plenty of this lace ribbon left over, I figured I'd do a second layer of that, just kind of finishing it off so that way this envelope looks finished from the front and the back. Now, some of you are probably saying, okay, Kelly, this is cute. It's cute, but what the heck am I gonna do with a fabric envelope? There are so many things that you can do with this, but wait for it, because I am gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it. So Dollar Tree's got these foam heart wreaths right now. I picked this up for the sole purpose of using these hearts as templates, because I like the different sizes and shapes of them. I'm also gonna be using a fabric pen. You can find these at Walmart for about $1.98 and these are a handy little tool to have. A handy little pen to have, that is. I'm going to take one of the hearts that I took off of the foam wreath and I'm going to place it on my fabric. But when I fold my fabric, I'm going to fold it in the way that the good side of the fabric is on the outside and the bad side of the fabric, the two sides meet. You need this to be double layered. I'm gonna go ahead and trace my heart like I just did here. And I'm gonna trace three hearts using three of the fabrics that came in the Emma and Myla fat quarter bundle. And I'm gonna do three different ones that are different than the envelope. And so because all these fabrics coordinate together, I think it's gonna be really fun just to have four different fabrics that work together for this DIY gift idea. And I am loving the browns and the pinks, it's so cute. And so again, you can see how I've folded my fabric. So I've got the right side of the fabric on the top and on the bottom, but the bottom is actually touching the tabletop. I know I'm making it confusing, aren't I? For this next step, you have a couple of different options. You can use embroidery thread if you have it, or you can use just a regular needle and sewing thread. Really is your choice, your preference. I personally am gonna go the route of using embroidery thread because I have a huge bag of it in my stash because my kids like to make friendship bracelets. And so of course we have a ton of colors of these. And so I'm gonna use a pink thread because I think it's gonna coordinate nicely and doing a very loose stitch along the blue line that I made with my fabric pen, tracing the heart, I'm gonna go ahead and sew these two pieces of fabric together, making it a heart pillow. Once I get to this point when sewing, I'm going to leave this amount of space open that I don't finish off the heart. And that's because we are going to fill this heart and make it a pillow. And to do that, you can either use pillow stuffing. I picked up this pillow from the Dollar Tree a while ago solely for the stuffing, or you can simply use cotton. Your choice. I'm going to use a combination of both. But since I've got this pillow, I'm gonna go ahead and take the stuffing out of it and I am going to fill my hearts mostly with the stuffing. Once I've got it pretty well filled up, I'm gonna take a couple pieces of the cotton and using some of my Simply Earth essential oil in my favorite scent, which is cinnamon, I'm gonna put a few drops of the essential oil on my cotton and I'm gonna kinda of sandwich the cotton together and I'm gonna place it inside my heart 
Then I'm gonna continue finishing, filling up my heart with some of the pillow stuffing. And so once I've got it completely filled, I'm gonna go ahead and continue sewing my heart closed. And I should have told you that once you stop sewing it to leave that opening, do not cut your thread. Just leave it attached so you can continue on sewing and closing up your heart. Again, I'm gonna go in with my peaking shears and I feel like this step is kind of not optional unless you wanna kinda of get creative with your scissors on your own and do a nice decorative edge, but I think peaking shears are a quick, easy way just to add that decorative edge and give this a more finished, polished look. I know, I know, yes, we still need to get rid of the blue line from the fabric pen. How am I gonna do that? Easy, with a wet paper towel. For those of you who don't know, this pen is like magic. When you run a sponge or a wet paper towel over it, it disappears. Isn't that awesome? Which then makes this a pretty handy tool to have in your stash because look at how cool that is. It just disappears. And when you look at that, we've got an adorable stuffed heart that smells like cinnamon essential oil. That is awesome. And like I said earlier, I wanted to do three separate hearts using three different fabrics. And how fun is this? You would never even know that this fabric was Easter fabric. And what am I gonna do with these hearts? Yeah, don't forget about the fabric envelope we made. I'm gonna place these scented sachet hearts. That's what they are. They are a scented sachet. And these are really great to put into your sock drawer or your underwear drawer if you are somebody who likes to just kind of have a nice fresh scent in your clothes like that. And would you look at how fun that is. This is such a fun way to gift these sachets. Heck, you could really use this fabric envelope to gift just about anything, but this is what I had in mind for it. And I think that this is fun. And again, I did all three of my hearts with the cinnamon essential oil. And to refill it, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a couple dots on the back side of it and just kind of set it out before I put it back in with my socks and then I'm gonna place it back in with my socks or my underwear. This set here I did with another one of the Emma and Myla Fat Quarter sets. This was fabric that Allie picked out and I thought that this would be fun, not only for Allie, but even for like a baby shower gift. And I wanted to show you the difference between the two. With the carrot set that Allie chose, I used just a regular needle and thread. And again, with my set, I used the embroidery thread. And so there is a bit of a difference, but it really is just your preference. How stinking cute is this DIY? I love this and it is so quick and easy to do. Most of all, it is budget friendly. I think maybe it took me an hour to do, but that was because I was watching a Lifetime movie while I was doing it. So if I would have really focused on it, I probably could have had this done in under a half an hour. And I think that this is one of those DIYs that any girl would love to receive to put in her underwear or sock drawer. And with those little heart pillows, you could do them all the same scent of essential oil if you wanted to, or you could switch up the scents and you could gift the bottle of essential oil with it and then just kind of put them in little baggies to separate the scents so it doesn't all mesh together. I love this. I am a person who loves having sachets in my sock drawer and my underwear drawer. I just think that it, when I open up the drawer and I smell it, I love that. And so it's something that Kayla and Allie both do now, even though Allie is nine years old, we do a baby powder scent or an orange scent and she always seems to really like opening up her drawer and she likes to change her scent and choose her scent as well. I hope you all enjoyed today's quick and easy DIY using fabric. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.